Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Arky Nomad and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create schedules in Rabbit. So first of all you just have to simply go to your project browser on your left side or it may be on the right side according to you uh, it may be our default it might be on the right side so just go and scroll down and you will find this schedule and quantities option so let's just simply highlight by clicking on the left click over it and then just right click you'll find this option new schedule and quantities just simply click this one and then you have to search what are the categories you are going to add on your schedule. So you just have to press D on your keyboard. So it will highlight nearby whichever the the letter comes. So then just have to simply select this one. Then it will show you the name. You can simply rename it according to you. Or let me just uh, put this one by default as it's showing door schedule 2 because I have already created a door schedule here on this project. So now just simply click OK. So now this, this dialog box will open up in front of you as you can see on this screen. So you have to first add the fields, whatever the fields you wanted to show in your schedule in this project. Okay, so let me just simply first uh, add family. Like what are the family name, what are the types actually. Okay, later on we'll add the family and types. So first as you can see here, or either you can just simply press F. So it will highlight here. Then you just have to click, I think there is a glitch. Okay, let me just do it again. So simply go here, press D on your keyboard, doors, schedule two, click okay. Now you have to search this one, the family. Press F, then you'll find the family. Now you just have to simply click this option, add parameters. So the next parameter, I want to add family and types. So I'll just simply highlight and simply click this add parameter. So it will automatically, you know, like in order, it will go up and down. You can simply go here and just select and make it up and down according to you, whatever the, like the in the fields, whatever the things you want to sort it out like that. So next one, I want to add a type mark. Whatever the tags actually I added in that family, you will able to see on your schedule. Okay, so simply add type mark. Uh, in some of the projects I did with the the tags with the marking also, so we can also just check this one also, like this mark option. Just simply click. So later on, I'll show you how to remove this also if it won't show the marking options, like the tag option in your schedule. So next one, we want to add height. Press H, then simply click this one, add parameters. Next one, we want to show the width in a schedule. So simply highlight this one, then click this green one, add parameter. The last one, we need to show the levels. Simply press L on your keyboard, so the level will come up. Don't worry about this one. Sometime it, due to graphical glitch, it happens. So simply click on this level, left click, and then add it. Now, just added all the schedule fields, whichever the parameters you wanted to show in your schedule. So now you have just have to click this OK. So as you can see here, type mark and the mark, it's showing that we already uh, like added uh, the the tags. So yeah, like that, as then we just have to simply drag this one a little bit here so we can find out what are the information hidden. Uh, maybe this one too much. Let me just drag this one here. So as you can see, we have the family single flash door and we have the family and types, whatever the information it's needed, it's written here. There's a type mark and mark. So as you can see, it's both are same. So we need to remove this type mark option. It's very easy, don't need to worry. You just have to go back to this, this option in the property palette, you'll find this field. You just have to simply click this one, edit. And just then you have to remove that type mark from the schedule field okay so just simply click highlight this one and you'll find this option remove parameter just simply click that one so it will go back so whatever the parameters you wanted to add or remove you can simply do by this options okay so now just click okay you'll find that it's removed so this is how you actually create schedules in 
uh, rabbit and project okay so now i'll show you how to place this on a sheet so as you can see it's showing the door schedule too so let me just add a default sheet okay this one horizontal no problem so we got our sheet here so what i'll do is i'll just simply go again back to the project browser i'll just simply this this sheet this this the sheet should be open okay while it's open you just have to go here in your schedule and just you have to simply highlight once and then just drag it you'll see this option move kind of plus button is showing then you just have to drop it okay by the left click then you will find you can place it anywhere wherever you want so this is how it actually works just simply click then you have to if you want to you know just make it a little bit more organized so just have to click you see this this control arrow kind of a down arrow showing just if you hover your mouse and you just things will get highlighted this arrow just have to simply click and drag it so it will be like you know get a lot of space to you know see whatever the things written clearly so now i'll do the same thing this is the control so just simply as you can see it's now getting much better you can see now it's much better you know so this is how you actually create schedules in rabbit like i created for the door i'll just show you the simply how to create for the window so just simply go here new schedule now you have to find w window and then that's a window window schedule 2 as you know that already created for the windows also so simply select the whatever the parameters like i told you so this time i'll just change it a little bit so this time i'll just simply click uh, first to uh, i'll add the levels then i'll click i would like to add the family then i would like to add uh, the head height maybe yeah then family and types then i will add its mark uh, okay we should add the this one the width also so i'll just simply um this one the width and uh, then the height yeah height i also need a height for it so simply press h we find the height and we can just simply put this up and the last one we can oh you can add the mark also so simply add it and press on the upside and levels i think level will we can go like on the last that'll be much better right then simply just click okay and our schedule is already created so if you go here and double click this one you'll find our window schedule is already we made so this is how you create a schedule in rabbit and let's just add this one to the sheet like this and we go here in the project browser then simply just drag it and just oppose uh, like that yeah and then if you want to you know just uh, drag this one or you just you want to you know split this one schedule table you can just simply click this one it will split out the table for you guys and let me just put this one on the down upside that'll be much better and then you find this information whatever you want okay so this is much for this video guys thank you so much for watching and share and subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please share with your friends and see you in the next video thank you so much bye bye